Aloha ward members. It's Brother Farnsworth, and uh, you can hear from the birds in the background. I'm out in the garden, and I wanted to share a message with you. But first, as I've been asked to uh, start with prayer, but rather than watching my messy hair, which hasn't been cut for three months, I'm going to turn this around so you can look at some of uh, Sister Bowden's beautiful dahlias. Our Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for so many blessings to live in this beautiful place with such wonderful Lord members, to have the gospel in our lives, to know that Jesus Christ is our Savior and Redeemer. We're grateful, Father, for our families, especially for our Lord family as we think about them this day, and for all the blessings we receive from Thee. Father, we are grateful. And we say these things in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I show you that uh, the Bowdens have been working hard growing all these flowers. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, they haven't been able to use very many of them. So I'm sure that if some of you need some flowers, Sister Bowden would be happy to share them with you. Now, right now, you can hear the noise in the background. We have some painters that are painting the house. And I think there's a real message here that as I watch them work, I am amazed by their preparation, by their skill, and by things that, you know, you just can't really pay them with money enough for, for the work that they do. I'm gonna just show you a couple of things that, that got me to thinking this morning as I watch this. Uh, number one is that they have to uh, be covered almost from head to toe and with the heat and there's no wind today which is good for painting of course but with the wind it's uh, it's difficult we turn this back around here I can be talking to you a little better here walk down to show you a couple things I'm just going down the steps here I wanted to share with you some of the things that they have to do to get the job done right and we all have our own responsibilities, but I'm really grateful for these men. And I, there may be women here too. I don't know. I can't tell. They're all covered from head to toe. Let me turn this around again. Noisy was all the preparation they go to, mixing and measuring and preparing everything. They've been here for two days, just trying to get everything ready to go for the finished product. I'm, I'm going to show you some other detail. See, here's a turn this around it has again. To be covered just perfectly and that's what they're doing every single window and then here look at this if there's a caulking that needs to be done all the little details you know there's nobody checking on them to see that they do everything exactly right instead they're doing this because they have pride in what they now, do. it would be it would be wonderful to be able to thank these people but you know there are many people like this who are working really hard. They've prepared for a long time. They work hard and they prepare well. Uh, how can we really thank them? Oh yes, we can pay the bills and we can do that, but there's a lot more to it than that. There's, you know, the years of preparation, the sacrifice they make and so forth. It would be wonderful if there's some way that we could really thank everyone for the things they do. But there are people out there that we will never see that. There are people that are protecting our property. There are people who are getting water to our places. There are people who are making sure that we have power. We never see those people. So what can we do? So I was thinking about that the other day and I thought there is something that we can do, but it's, it's all up to us. The thing we can really do is do the very best we can do at whatever our job is, whether it's taking care of mom or the children or doing the the, uh, the laundry, folding the clothes, whatever we're doing, let's just try to do, and that's what I'm trying to do, try to do the very best thing. I'm going to sit down here for a minute and talk. There's a pretty background here. Sit down for a minute and just say, you know, I'm really, really grateful for, for the things that I know people do, but I'm also really grateful for the, the people who are doing things for us that I never see. And I'm going to try to do better, to do a really good job at whatever I do, as a way to say thank you to those that I never can really thank. And of course, for all these blessings, we're really, really grateful to Heavenly Father 
for giving us this opportunity to come to earth, for having the gospel restored to the earth, for having a living prophet to lead and guide us, and for all the beauties, matter of fact, just turn around here, for all the beauties of the earth. I mean, we look around every day and we say, wow, this is a beautiful place. And we live in a gorgeous place too. Here in Maui, we really have a lot of beauty all around us. So my message today is really, let's just be grateful for all our blessings and thank those that we can thank and the others that we can't really reach out to and thank. Let's just do the very best that we can in whatever we're doing. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, uh, Brother uh, uh, Boren suggested that we have a closing prayer. And since I'm the only one here right now, I don't think the electrician here or the painters would be, uh, understand why I'm standing here giving a prayer, but I'm going to anyway. I'm just going to turn this and I'll bow my head and take off my hat. I'm not going to see my hair. And I say these things. And I'll say this, dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for our blessings. We're grateful to all those who help us through this life. We pray that we may thank them, be grateful every day for all these blessings. And we say these things in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Goodbye and woe and aloha. Ward with the new sister missionaries. I am Sister Panessa and I'm originally from New Zealand but I moved to Australia when I was about 10. Um, I have been out for my mission 17 months now and so I go home next month but I'm excited to be in your ward. I have I started my mission on Maui but Lahaina side and then I transfer, transferred to Kaneohe, went to Kauai Flew over to Hilo on Big Island, came back to Kauai, and then now I am ending my mission in Makwa Ward, which is pretty cool. Ending with a bang. Ending with a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> um, a fun fact. Fun fact about myself is I played trombone for five years, and I didn't like it. No, not one bit of me loved playing the instrument, but I did it for my mom because she loved hearing me play it, I guess. And she's really good at it. Yeah. I've never heard her, but probably. <laughs> Haven't played in a while. <laughs> um, okay, I'm Sister Knudsen, and I am from Sandy, Utah, and I've been on my mission for almost a year now. And so, yay! And I started my mission in Kona on the Big Island, and then I went over to Kaneohe on Oahu, and now I'm here. So this is my third area, and I'm super excited to be here. Um, fun fact? Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess a fun fact is I play the flute. Um, I really like music. And also, I can wiggle my ears, so I can show you. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can even see <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> anyway, that's not that cool, but <laughs> that's just one cool. Um But yeah, we're super excited to be serving in your ward and to get to know you guys better. Yes, and if you have any questions um, or if you want to know more about us, please give us a call. I wish I had the number memorized, but I'm working on that. So, but. Yes, give us a call, we'll let you know, and we would love to come by and see you all and get to know you as well. Or do service. We do yard work, housework, anything. For free! For free! For free! Yeah! <laughs> okay, well, aloha! Aloha! <laughs> Bye! Riley! What do you love about Daddy? Um, he pulls my hair and, and he feeds me. Oh. I love Daddy because he is funny and he plays with me and he 
works hard and he teaches me about the gospel. I love my dad because he takes care of me and he gives us money so we can get food. Tell me about the bike. I love most about my daddy is he loves me and I love him. I love my daddy because he teaches me a lot of important stuff about life. I love daddy so much because he kisses me before I sleep. I love daddy so much because he cuddles me. What I love most about my dad is that he'll take me fishing and um, he'll set up my pool and we'll have great fun. I love my daddy because um, he cooks for us and he's the best cook in the family. I love your daddy because he cooks. Mom! Me! I love about you that you always get free classes and for me and you set it up and stuff. I love about you that you always let me build the table with you. I love you, Dad. I like spending time with you. I love you, Dad. I like to me in the pool. I like a dad. Dad, I so so. I like when my dad plays with me. I love my dad because whenever um whenever i'm bored he always makes me do something it makes me kind of happy and he makes me work at the farm a lot he plays with sports with me and happy father's day